If you look at what we've been through, the pandemic and COVID-19, how does it change the relationship we have with our food? Does it make us want to buy healthier foods? And so what does that mean for Nestle going forward? Good morning and thanks for having me. A great opportunity to update each other on what's going on. So clearly, um, the face of this uh, pandemic has been uh, changing over time and shopping habits uh, have been changing with it. Initially, there was a lot of concern about just keeping pantries stocked and we saw a lot of uh, pantry loading as consumers just wanted to be sure that there is enough food supply during the lockdown. I think over time we saw people were gaining confidence that uh, shelves remained stocked and that the supply chains in food and beverage uh, were resilient. Um, we also saw quite a bit of initial demand for comfort foods. Uh, clearly, this was a very stressful spring and early summer for many of us, and uh, so comfort food was in high demand. At the same time, and I think this is now the longer term trend that's playing out, there's a renewed interest in health and, uh, you know, uh, a nutrition that uh, advances health and uh, strengthens the immune system. And I think this is uh, here to stay, uh, certainly throughout the later stages of this pandemic, and we believe also beyond that. So, uh, Mark um, Schneider, when you look at your unit, which is health and nutrition, how much can that grow? Is that going to be one of your best performing but also growing units in the next five years? So our Nestle Health Science Unit has been on a tear uh, even before the pandemic. So a few years back, this was a two billion Swiss franc business. Uh, we expect to double this to about four billion by the end of next year. Uh, very strong organic growth, especially in vitamins, minerals, and supplements. And uh, then on top of that, I think uh, very nice uh, M&A opportunities uh, that we utilized over time uh, in the health-based nutrition area. And I think this uh, acquisition of AMU and the offer, the tender offer here, is uh, just the latest step here uh, in implementing that strategy. And uh, so over time, yes, uh, this is going to be one of our key growth drivers and something we're proud of. And so if you look at personal life subscriptions in terms of vitamins and things like that, how much will that grow? And are, are you seeing much more demand for products like that online? And will that continue once the pandemic is more dealt with? Yes, so this is a category that uh, lends itself to online business opportunity, and we've seen online demand skyrocketing. Um, this was already, um, you know, a growing sector before the crisis, but it clearly skyrocketed during the crisis because it made shopping so convenient. On top of that, you're absolutely right. I think personalized um, vitamins, minerals, and supplements are going to be the next frontier. We have some very exciting offerings underway. So you're moving away from just straightforward uh, supplements like um, what I call the vitamin alphabet, like A, uh, B, C, or D, and you're actually going to specifically uh, what a certain individual requires. So initially, there's some testing, there's a questionnaire, and then based on that, you get exactly the vitamins, minerals, and supplements that are made for you. So as that business is growing, Mark Schneider, does it mean that you'll cut down on processed foods? Well, processed food is one of these misunderstood terms. Uh, when you cook, you're also processing food. So processed food per se is not a good or bad thing. It's, it depends on what you do to the food. And I think overall, uh, there has been a trend and something that we've been quite active on to really make me sure that uh, our food um, uh, gets processed in a way that preserves uh, the good and healthy ingredients and that we're also using what we call kitchen cupboard ingredients. And that means to really simplify the label and be sure that these are ingredients that you recognize that are natural and that uh, uh, have a strong uh, health track record.